Hi there, this is Anup. Today we are going to talk about Microsoft 365 Defender onboarding using Intune. How to onboard devices into Defender using Intune. So we are going to create some policies in Intune and deploy to devices which you want to onboard to Microsoft Defender for endpoints. We'll also see a quick walkthrough of alerts, vulnerability listing, CVE listing, all the details about Microsoft 365 Defender dashboard reporting for a particular Windows device which got onboarded using Intune. So there are a lot of exciting stuff over here. Don't skip it. Let's go ahead and watch this out. Let's have watch a quick out. look at onboarding process for Windows devices using Intune. This is the second part of the video where we are discussing about Microsoft Defender for Endpoint onboarding for Windows devices using Intune. If you have not watched the first part, I would recommend to click on the I button in YouTube over here and check out the first video where we talk about license details and other requirements how to integrate Intune and MDE. All those things are discussed in this particular video. In this video, we will check out the onboarding process as well as we will have a walkthrough of Microsoft 365 Defender portal and we'll see risk factors, etc, etc. What is Microsoft 365 Defender? Microsoft 365 Defender is a unified solution that works across endpoints, identities, email, apps, etc. This helps organizations to detect prevent investigate and respond to threats over here we are talking only about endpoints but Microsoft 365 Defender has capabilities with identities email collaboration apps etc this is a high level architecture overview of Microsoft Defender for endpoint which we covered in the previous video part one of this video so you can refer to that from the I button over here integration part we have covered this in the part one of the video but just to give you an overview you need to head over to microsoft defender portal and then over there you have an option to switch on microsoft intune connector once that is enabled you would be able to manage the policies and devices with more advanced or granular controls from intune itself if you want to know more details you can check the i button and check out the first part of the video now let's concentrate on the onboarding process using Intune so over here we are talking about Microsoft Defender for endpoint onboarding process for Windows devices there are different options over here you can use local script or group policy Microsoft Intune also can be used or you can use SSEM or configuration manager otherwise you can use VDI scripts all these are supported methods to get Windows devices onboarded to Microsoft Defender for endpoint. In this video, we are going to concentrate on Intune part. So in Intune, we are going to use Windows Defender Advanced Threat Protection Configuration Service Provider that is nothing but CSP to configure onboarding policies. So you need to configure a particular Windows CSP which is called WDATP to onboard Windows devices devices to Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. So this is similar to other CSP policies but we don't need to create any custom CSP policy within Intune. There's an automated onboarding process which I'm going to share in the demo. How to create that policy, how to deploy that policy etc. Once the onboarding is done, the second step is configure the capabilities and additional policies etc etc. We can deploy Defender security based baseline from Intune for these managed devices or onboarded devices and we will cover that in a different video. Once onboarded you would be able to do a lot of analysis in Microsoft Defender portal that is what you are going to see in the demo. For other devices Mac OS 
you can use Microsoft Intune again and even Android you can use Microsoft Intune iOS devices you can use Microsoft Intune Linux servers you need to use any of these method to onboard Linux servers now let's go to the next slide in the demo we will see this in detail but uh, this is the high level overview of the policy to onboard Windows devices to MDE using Intune in the background this policy is referring to the CSP which we discussed over here in this slide this particular CSP now let's go to the next slide this is what we are going to see in the walkthrough demo of MDE so we will cover device compliance secure score and what are the vulnerabilities for that particular device which got onboarded into MDE etc etc now let's head over to demo and check that out now I have logged into Microsoft Intune admin center from here I'm going to create a onboarding policy for MDE onboarding from endpoint security and then go to endpoint detect and response node over there and then create a policy select the platform Windows 10 Windows 11 and Windows server you have an option to select the configuration manager as well but we are going to stick with Microsoft Intune in the profile you have an option to select endpoint detection and response profile that is the onboarding profile which you need to select and then click on create button to continue over here you need to enter the appropriate name and description I would always recommend to put the appropriate description as well and maybe links as well so that fellow admins can understand name description and click on next button to continue this is the main configuration item so you have three configurations but two of them are relevant the third one is deprecated so I'm not going to use that so Microsoft Defender for client configuration package type auto from connector that is what I'm going to use and sample sharing I'm going to select all for this scenario and as I mentioned I'm not going to configure that particular setting because it is deprecated and all these settings are coming from the CSP policy which we discussed in the presentation click on next to continue and scope tag as you know what do you want to do with scope tag so click on next so over here you need to select appropriate devices you have a filter option also I'm going to select a custom device group from Azure Active Directory directory which contains only one device I have selected that group and then click on select button to continue now you can see group members one device over there and click on next to continue and this is the review page where you can check and confirm all the configurations are correct or not if it is okay then click on create button to create this policy the policy is created now as you can see it is assigned and all the details are already there so let's check whether the device device onboarding policy got deployed onto that device or not yes it got deployed as you can see over here two succeeded the policy got deployed if I click on system account and get more details onboard blob from connector that is succeeded sample sharing configuration that is also succeeded on the device now we can head over to Microsoft Defender portal and check out what is happening over there this device got successfully onboarded to Microsoft 365 Defender. Let's log into Microsoft 365 Defender portal and check the endpoint details over there. In the home page dashboard, you would be able to see secure score, 85% non complaint. There are malware remediated activities shown in the dashboard. Also, secure score is there, and then user risk is highlighted. Active device, you can see as one. Recently discovered device in your organization one because we onboarded one device using Intune then you can go to devices under assets in devices you would be able to see the device which we onboarded because the onboarding has been completed now you can see the onboarded device and the total number is one and the onboarded device you can see that is a cloud PC it is Azure AD joint device and exposure level also mentioned over there medium and Windows version sensor health onboarded last update from the device managed by Intune so those are the available details over here now if you click on the device that will take you to the detailed analysis of this particular device overview will give you the domain joint type and Windows version
ocean and then onboarding scenarios managed by intune exposure level is medium you can also see logged on users and the scan details you can see over there and version numbers of each engine is also mentioned over there now let's go to incident and alerts tab i don't have anything over here in this lab setup timeline you can see some details over there in the timeline svc host initiated http connection to particular windows update portal etc and svc host deleted some of the files all those details you can see in the timeline if you click on that black box over there that will give you more details as you can see this entities involved in this and technical information there are some hyperlinks also you will get more details if you click on that hyperlink all the details are very well displayed in this now let's go to security recommendations there are a lot of security recommendations i can see 15 items over here edge chromium update turn on tamper protection controlled folder access it is a virtual device that is why bitlocker is not enabled and related components also interesting over there now let's look at software inventory defender is able to collect the software inventory details as well and it can say product code as well that is very important for analyzing the cv etc and installed versions vendor details all those details are available here in the software inventory discovered vulnerabilities that is very important and you can see there's already a vulnerability which defender found that was related to microsoft edge chromium and the published date for that vulnerability and first detected date also mentioned over there so this is very very useful information and missing kbs there's nothing over here at the moment but you will see if there's any missing kbs later and in the advanced features you can add additional vulnerability management details into defender using application control security baseline browser extension options and certificate inventory options let's go to the vulnerability management and all the other details related to endpoints from here so there are vulnerability management dashboard and recommendations all those details are available here so you can see exposure score is 30 out of 100 and then top security recommendations are also there remediation activities top vulnerability softwares microsoft edge and the exposure is medium for this particular device all those details are available under vulnerability management dashboard you can see the recommendations over here from the recommendations tab and uh, this is the same list we had gone through remediation plan if you have any you can create exceptions and you can create a blocked application list etc using the next level of vulnerability management inventories you would be able to see all the inventory software inventory and certificate inventory and browser extension you need to enable the other stuff which we discussed previously weaknesses you would be able to see cv missings event timing details you can see over here under events there are partners and other options available there are different partners you can connect to defender atp api and you can use api explorer from here that is very useful i would say maybe this is for the future video and evaluation tutorials are very good if you want to simulate some of the stuff you can go to tutorials and simulations and then get the simulation file and run it on the onboarded device then you can simulate and go through what has happened how defender is going to protect your environment etc in the configuration management you can see intune managed device one and that device is what we were checking previously now let's log into windows device which got onboarded to defender and you can see the full scan is running on the device from windows security defender now let's check the event logs windows defender event logs you can find under microsoft windows windows defender and operational there are different event logs available in this you can analyze what is happening now that you have seen all the details about microsoft 365 defender onboarding 
and you have gone through all the details from the Microsoft Defender portal side of things as well as from the client side of things. How to check Microsoft Defender related event logs from Windows client side. Hope this was helpful. Thank you all for watching. See you around.